guys, welcome back, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jacqueline. I make videos all the time. I post at least twice a week, sometimes more. So if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe to my channel to see all kinds of videos. And today's video is a very requested hair tutorial on how I curl my hair. That probably made it just look really bad. So this has been a very, very requested video on how, 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 how. I get questions like this all the time, not only on YouTube, but in person. So next time I'll be like, hey, check out my YouTube. Just kidding. I never tell people about my YouTube, so they just find out about it. I'm doing a giveaway on my channel. If you haven't seen that already, I am going to be giving away two palettes of your choice. So anything from Sephora or Ulta, whatever you want, I'll give it to you. The link to the video where I talk about the giveaway. So yeah, um, I don't want to talk too much because I feel like I've been talking a lot and I've had like 20 cups of coffee if you can't tell. Example A. Oh, I was about to sip out of the wrong end. So yeah, let's get started. I really hope you guys enjoy this video and if you're new around here, please stick around and subscribe. It would just be really nice of you. <laughs> but without further ado, let's get on into the video. So the products I put in my hair before um, it got dry <laughs> was the It's a 10. This is my absolute favorite product. Cannot live without this. And then I used the Rusk Thicker Mousse and I just put this in my roots right here and back here because my hair can tend to get flat which is surprising because it's frizzy. I don't know why but especially right here like this side has volume but this side doesn't so I try to like really put a lot right there. And today I'm going to be using my Numi Curling Wand. Um, this is the Titan 3-in-1. Best thing ever. If you're going to spend your money on anything, it should be this. Actually, my favorite kind of curling irons are the ones that are the three in one. And it is on right now. You can control the temperature, all that. I have it as high as it can go because I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so I always start off taking my hair and I put it in half. So I try and grab half of it like that and then I separate it. And then I twist that up. And then go like that to make it stay. Now I did blow dry the roots of my hair today and then I let the rest air dry. So now I'm parting my hair and as you can see it's, I have curly hair so you can kind of see the creases from the natural hair. I need a brush, that may help. Oh, oh, almost fell. So now I'm just brushing through my hair. This is important because you don't want knotty curls. So I am using the middle wand. There's a smaller one and a bigger one. I use the middle size and if I want bigger waves I'll use the larger one. So I start from the very very back and with the bottom layer I curl more towards the bottom and it's really important to not have your hair like touching each other. Like you want the space between the hair to be big. That's how you get the loose curls. That's how they look like really loose and stuff. So I just let it stay on there for a second and then I drop it into my hand. I kind of hold it for a second and that's the curl that you get and then I throw it behind my back and do the rest. But again, I start kind of halfway and then space it out. Now the reason I do halfway on the bottom is just because nobody sees the bottom. So I just curl the bottom half. But towards the top, that's whenever I start doing higher curls. So it saves a lot of time in the morning. So that's really all I do. I just curl it and throw it back. It's really, really easy. And I literally do not hold it for long because you don't need to, but yeah, throw it back, curly hair. So now I'm just going to do the rest of my head. Okay, so I just finished those pieces and I pulled all the hair back to the front. I'm going to hairspray them, kind of run my fingers through, and throw it back. So now this is the important part. This is super cute. So now you need to brush through this. And this is the hair that almost everybody sees. So this is where you need to be really careful. You don't want to curl too high because then it looks just like, I don't know, it just looks odd. Unless your hair, like, my curls don't really fall because my hair has really good grip. So I don't curl that high. But if your hair falls, then I would curl to the scalp because if it's going to fall, then it will fall down where you want it. But mine does not. So I go about right here and I do the same thing. Now, my hair is too long, so I have to curl it two times. And this is the part that takes a long time and it's really annoying. So, hold that for like a few seconds. And then I go back down to the bottom, found the last place that I curled, and curl the bottom piece. It's really annoying, but I gotta do it. 
So that is what it looks like. Throw that behind the back and do the rest. And up top, I usually don't do very thick pieces because I do want these curls to look really good. So the smaller the pieces, the better. Like the bottom, I don't really care what size pieces I use, but with these, I generally do smaller pieces. Perfect. And then I find where I last curled it and hold it. And there you have it again. So I throw that behind my back. And I do this all the way to the front. Now how I do the front piece is different, so I'll skip to that. Okay, so how I do my bangs is a little bit different. I make sure I have them how I want them, and then I kind of do more of a flat curl, and then I hold it. And then I kind of roll it up just a tad bit, and then I let go of it. And it should look like that. Sorry, I can't really see. I'm using my viewfinder, which is, I feel like, not very smart, but whatever. So... That is what my front piece looks like. So now you pull all to the front. So now I hairspray it. And then I run my fingers through it. So that is how you get like the really loose look. Generally I go back and fix my bangs because I usually don't like them. So it takes me a second to get them how I like it. But So I'm going to do that. Okay, so Okay, so I just kind of let that chill, and then I'm going to do the other side the exact same way I did this side. Okay, so... Okay, so I just finished the side with this piece close to my face. I did the same as I did the other one, but it's a little bit tighter just because it is a smaller amount of hair because my part's on this side. So, just going to hairspray it and run my fingers through it. That is literally the most important part. It just creates a fluffier type of curl. So... Now onto this side, I run my fingers through it again, make sure my bangs are how I want them, and then you're done. Sometimes I'll spray some texture spray in there. I really like the Bumble and Bumble one, and the Not Your Mother's is a way cheaper alternative, and it smells really, really good. And yeah, that's it. We're pretty much done. Um, sometimes my hair turns out different every time. It just really depends. And on a good day, I can do this in like 15 minutes if I really hurry through it. So it's really easy, and I hope you guys like this video. I know it was very, very, very requested. So if you did, be sure to like it, and don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and don't forget to follow me on Dote for my giveaway. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video, and I guess I'll just see you then. Bye!